When we arrived in Tombstone, we went to check in at the RV park, Stampede RV Resort. It's a small park, but it was very close to where we wanted to be, within walking distance of everything we wanted to see. It took a minute when we arrived to figure out where to check in. The office is all the way in the back, so you had to drive through the RV park to get to the office. And with the amount of RVs there, it was kind of hidden. So we, made it. so we made it to Tombstone, got checked in at the RV park. And we're back in to find some food. We're going to take a walk down here to the old street. The old main street that they've preserved and see if we can find some meat. Because we're hungry. Are you hungry? I'm a little hungry. Haven't made it to hangry yet. That's <laughs> next though. I know. Okay. What can you tell us about this little town? Do you know something? Well, Tombstone is on the Register of National Historic Places. Um, if sometimes people see movies and they don't realize it's a real thing. So there were a couple of movies made about White Earp and Tombstone. Which movies? Tombstone was the name of the last that was one. <laughs> um, okay. But Kevin Costner did one too. Um, so there were a couple. So people see movies sometimes and they think it's just all made up. Mm -hmm. But those events that those movies are portraying actually happened here. Oh, okay. It's like a cowboy movie? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So this was considered an old west town. Um, the part that everybody's, most people are familiar with is the gunfight at the OK Corral where White Herb and Doc Holliday and two of Wyatt's brothers got into a gunfight with a band of outlaws and killed, I believe, three of them and kind of started a whole war. So Wyatt came here to get away from being a lawman. He was a marshal in Dodge City, wanted to get away from that wanted to come out west and make his fortune and after him and his brothers Virgil and Morgan came to Tombstone the local sheriff <coughs> was killed by this band of criminals and Wyatt's brother Virgil couldn't help himself and took on the job of town marshal okay. and then Wyatt kind of got roped into it to help him he didn't really want to. Well, after the gunfight at OK Corral, the territory, I remember Sheriff Marshal, whatever it was, was kind of in the pocket of the criminals. They tried to charge them for killing these guys in the shootout. There is OK Corral over there. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> but they weren't convicted. And then the bad guys decided they wanted revenge. They ended up killing Morgan, critically wounding Virgil. And after that, Virgil and the wives all left town. And then White Earp and Doc Holliday started hunting them down. The bad guys. Oh, okay. Well, it's kind of odd to walk through here and think that people like White Earp and Doc Holliday and then walk down these streets. same same streets. So OK Corral. Mm -hmm. OK Corral is over here. Oh. <laughs> uh-huh. You can do a stagecoach ride. I feel like I should have worn my boots. <laughs> Should have put your cowboy boots on? See? We're here on a Monday, so it's not very crowded. And it's a little bit later in the day. On weekends, this can get pretty packed. 
but there's a lot of shops and stuff we've got all day here tomorrow we'll go through a lot of the stores and exhibits and such go to boot hill what's boot hill that's the city cemetery oh that is where they buried the bad guys oh. so the guys that were killed in the shootout with white earp and doc holiday and them are buried there along with a lot of others wow so become, pretty big horses if you come to tombstone you can take a stagecoach ride <laughs> it goes around and talks about the history um, it's like a tour Ike Clanton's Haunted Hotel. <laughs> so Ike Clanton didn't actually own a hotel. He was one of the bad guys. Oh. But I think his spirit is here. Uh -huh. Well, he ended up... I don't remember where he got killed. Great stairs and... So one of the places that's really kind of neat to go in that some people know about down there at the end of the street on the right uh -huh. it says Bird Cage Theater. So that's where White Earp met his future wife. So when White Earp came to town, he became a card dealer here at the Oriental. That was his first job. Inside the Oriental, it looks a lot like it used to look. There's a picture of White Earp dealing cards with Doc Holliday sitting up to his right. After the drive here and walking around town, it was time to get some food. Yeah. It's pretty good. I like it. So, you want to try this one? You had a what? Iguana margarita? Iguana. Uh -huh. And that one's prickly pear. Mm -hmm. This one is sweeter, but I think I like mine better. <laughs> Salut! Yeah. You're welcome. Want me to take that? Sure. <laughs> this is Would you like a show in Spanish? Uh, everything but onions. So mushroom. No. Yeah, and then do you have, does it come with fries? That is tomato pickle fries. Uh, mm. Oh my god, it's so hot. It's really good. good Perfect. Okay, you too. Here we go. There you go. I think we're sweating. Oh, backwards. You Diablo? See. You Patty Backwards? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> this is good. Looks pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Good morning. So we're going to take a little tour of Tombstone, Arizona this morning. A little cooler today, it's like cold front coming through, so got the jackets out. It's not bad, I mean, high 50s, low 60s today. Just a little breezy. If you're not familiar with Tombstone, Arizona, um, the thing that makes it the most well-known was the shootout at the OK Corral with White Earp and Virgil Earp, Morgan Earp, Doc Holliday, and then the McClowries and the Clantons. Uh, they were part of a cowboy criminal gang. Go see the movies. Good. <laughs> you will understand it more. <laughs> Right 
see this thing? Oh, this is cool. So this is one of the old Hey, you got one of these? You got one of those. Alright. For you and her? Well, that's one ticket. They just gave me one. Yeah, it says two people on it. It's one okay. ticket, though. <laughs> Why don't you get going? <laughs> you hold my line up here. People are waiting. You're just fooling around up here. <laughs> For a gunfight! Yes! Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. A couple of things before we get started, folks. First things first. Please, at no point during or after the presentation, try to handle our weapons. They are real. And they are dangerous. Now with all the safety talk out of the way, <laughs> who's got a cell phone with them today? Raise your hand. Throw it up there for me, ma'am. Go ahead. How <laughs> <laughs> the book every right. single time. Hey, kid. Right. Come on, 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 come you let him loose, sir. You let him loose the day we're ever here. Sure, the man is going to stay in trial for it. Now, turn. <laughs> this town's going to make it. Got to have some law and order. Virgil, don't do this. Very close to the reason. Don't talk to nobody gets like this. <laughs> Mike's had his fun, paid his fine, he's free to go. Get him out of here, and I don't want to see a cowboy the rest of the day. You got no right to talk to us like that! I will talk to you how I please. All this? And today, Wyatt, I'm done talking. What's up, boys? Just shut your mouth, dude. Come on out here, Wyatt. Look, duck! It is police business. Well, none of your. Well, there are more cowboys. Town Virgil, where has it they're gunning for you? Looks to me like you could use all the friends you could get. We can handle those cowboys just fine on our own. Well, they're not far from you. They're held up in the empty lot behind the OK Corral on Fremont Street. They look to me business and bullets. They've got guns. We will take their guns away. Virgil. All right, fine. You come with us, you listen to me. Hang back, hold on to this. Throw up your hand. I'm here for your gun. Come on. on. <laughs> Not what I want. They had a set built for the reenactment, but this is the actual location of the shootout at OK Corral. It was next to C.S. Fly's photography shop and boarding house, and that room belonged to Doc Holliday while he was there. A bit of a dust storm came through while we were walking down the street. So this is where Morgan Earp was playing pool. Not the original pool table, but they kept going here just to mark the spot. He was playing pool and was shot in the back through the back doors. After the show and some exploring, it was time for lunch. We went into Big Nose Kate's. It's where the Grand Hotel used to be. There's a little surprise in the basement we'll show you in a bit. Pretty good. Nope. 
not done spiral staircases before? No, not that. Oh, that's a tunnel that goes to the mine. And somebody, do, if you need some bling bling for your wedding, look how pretty. Bright's hat. <laughs> So the Birdcage Theater, built in 1881. Lots of history in that building. Let's go check it out. They've added a partition wall and converted the lights to electricity, but otherwise our building is as original as possible. These are the very same floors that Doc Holliday and the Earths walked on in the 1880s. The Birdcage was built as a theater saloon, gambling hall and house of El Repute. We have 14 birdcage cribs, seven on each side of that bridge we call the catwalk. Ladies would be on the bridge, catch the eye of a gentleman on the floor, and take him up the narrow staircase to be entertained. We have on either side of the catwalk show bills from the last act to perform here in 1889, the human fly. The ladies started out on a trapeze doing tricks and flips, and then for the grand finale they walked on the ceiling like flies. It was a very popular act at the birdcage because when their feet went north, their skirts headed south. <laughs> right here is our original cherry wood bar built in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The mirrors on the, on the bar back are from Paris, France. When the bar was done, the railroads wouldn't bring it on as freight, so we opened with a makeshift bar. This one sailed in Guaymas, Mexico, and then came by wagon train to Tombstone. It was put in place for the grand opening December 26, 1881. There were 16 gunfights, 26 people died. We have about 140 <laughs> bullet holes in the building. 45 calendar slugs still visible with a flashlight down there in the front of the bar. Straight up in the ceiling, there's a 32. We have a 45 ricochet on that show bill frame and a 44 in the wall to the right of Fatima. She danced here in 1881, sent that portrait in 1882, and it's been hanging in here ever since. Look closely and you'll see a knife slash in her skirt. You'll also see a second belly button, but that bottom one is actually one of six bullet holes in her canvas. And six must have been her lucky number, because when you count the toes on her foot, you're going to count six of them, too. <laughs> So this is the original Pharaoh table where Doc Holliday dealt and played Pharaoh at the Birdcage Theater. Tell me the story that you told me before. So when Ghost Hunters filmed here and did an investigation, they had an extension cord up here on this bell. And there's a gap behind the cover of the bell. They had the extension cord in this gap. So it was looped over that to run along. To and run along there. Yeah, okay. to power their cameras. Okay. And when one of their cameras pointing this way during the night caught the extension cord lifting up out from behind the bell and falling down on the floor. So somebody didn't like where they put their extension cord. Oh my God. <laughs> and that was on film. Yeah. But this is, this was, uh, this is the stage. This That's is the, the original stage, stage curtain. Uh -huh. So everybody would watch, would look this way, not that yes. way. Right, they would line up chairs here in this center. And then this was the piano, the original grand piano. So it's, it's been sitting in the same spot since 1881. So you take this set of stairs to go up on the stage. They have some exhibits up here. So one of the most interesting things that they have up here is the Black Mariah, which is one of the original hearses built for Tombstone. One dollar if you want to take a bath, but two dollars if you want clean water. <laughs> what do you think? What do you say? You want one? I think I'd take the clean water. <laughs> dentist chair? Yeah, so if you don't like going to the dentist today, imagine going to the dentist when you had a chair like that. Look at this. So that's the Black Mariah. Uh -huh. That literally is 24 karat gold and stuff on it, sterling silver. So the lady in front said when they bought it in 1881, it was $8,000. Oh, wow. And now it's worth $2 million. 
This? <laughs> Let me touch it. <laughs> I need. I need some, please. I need some. So, they've signed do not touch. <gasps> oh my god, sorry. <laughs> do you know why that's there? This? Mm -hmm. No, why? Well. Those are people leaving offerings so they don't upset the spirits. That's why you're here. Okay. That's why the money and the candy. Okay. And then this this casket back here was used in the filming of the movie Tombstone. Oh. So Kurt Russell, Val Kilmer, that movie. So this is now original, this wasn't that the That casket's a movie prop, mm. but they used caskets like that. They're the ones in the, they made it from the pictures mm -hmm. that C.S. Fly took of the McLaughlin brothers and Billy Clanton mm -hmm. uh, during the funeral. So it's a replica of what they actually used. Oh, okay. And then they had a viewing Well, casket. let me see if I have some money. <laughs> I don't want to upset the... Spirits here. At least if I have like a. Ah. Can I put it on? Mm -hmm. Okay. Please don't be upset with me because I touch your thing. <laughs> okay, this picture is not known to me. I've seen it before. I just don't remember where. But this is Pancho Villa. And this is El General Zapata. General Emiliano Zapata. And he was sitting in the presidential chair because the president Jose Victoriano Marquez of Mexico was ex how do you say that? Uh, exiled. Exiled. I I can't believe this picture is here though, you know? <laughs> That works. Yeah, that wind's making a really spooky sound. Appropriate for an old haunted town. <laughs> Tombstone Courthouse. It's a big building. This is very cute. So built in 1882. So we're taking a walk down to Boot Hill Graveyard. So this is original. This is how they buried them before. Is yes. this what it is? Yeah, because the ground here was too hard to just dig for graves. Okay. So they made shallow graves and then covered them with rocks to keep the animals on. Oh, okay. So these are the graves of the three killed at the OK Corral. Billy Clanton, Frank McLowry, and Tom McLowry. They have some unique tombstones here, like this one. Here lies Lester Moore, four slugs from a 44. No less, no more. Killian, 1880, shot by Frank Leslie. Frank Leslie went to jail. Yeah, if they knew who shot them, then they put it on their monument. This one, McNemoy, 1882, just says shot, so they didn't know who killed him. We hope you enjoyed Tombstone, Arizona. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like and notification buttons.